this video we will discuss about split genes now what are split genes supposing this is dna dna will form rna this process is called as transcription and rna will form the protein now if we open up this dna in this way this will have nitrogenous bases on uh, dna and 3 prime to 5 prime will have complementary sequence to these nitrogenous bases for that you can see the structure of dna now this combination of three nitrogenous bases this form codon this is also called as triplet codon and this will form amino acid and protein now if supposing this is the gene length and this will form rna and its length will be less than the gene length because dna will have coding as well as non coding sequences ex is exon and int is for intron so ex represent coding region int represent non coding region so we can see here this is exon this is intron exon intron exon intron so this is the coding region this is the non coding region and th in this way this will continue and now this junction of exon and intron here we can make a cut and we can remove the introns and when these introns they are removed this is this process removal of intron is called as splicing so we can remove these introns from these sites called as splice sites and these exons can be joined leading to the formation of functional rna now this rna can later on form the protein so length of the gene is more than the functional rna and that functional rna will form the protein always joining will take place in 5 prime to 3 prime direction so this is 5 prime again this will be 5 prime this is 3 prime 5 prime and 3 prime leading to the joining of the exon and removal of the intron which is also called as splicing process so we can explain what is split or interrupted gene split or interrupted genes are those genes which possess extra or non essential regions interspersed with essential or coding regions now these were discovered by sharp and roberts in 1977 they also got nobel prize for the same in 1993 so we can say length of the gene is more than the length of the functional rna and this coding region and non coding region they lead to the formation of split genes or interrupted genes so non coding region has to be removed for the formation of the proteins now these genes split genes they are more common in eukaryotic organisms as compared to prokaryotic organisms these are usually found in the nuclear genes for messenger rna ribosomal rna and transfer rna mitochondrial genes chloroplast gene some genes of archaea bacteria u bacteria and viruses so messenger rna ribosomal rna transfer rna which are found in the nucleus part as well as genes which are found in the mitochondria viruses archaea bacteria they will have the split genes but number of introns will vary from gene to gene some of the genes like globin gene they may have only two introns serum albumin they can have six introns and collagen gene they can have 50 introns so number of introns will vary from gene to gene so original unmodified rna product of a gene is also a transcription unit is also called as primary transcript like if we see here this part where introns they are not removed it has not been modified this is called as primary transcript but when it has been modified so this is a modified gene product now how this modification of the gene occur this is by removal of the intron and joining of the exon during processing of the rna this process is also called as splicing or removal of the introns for this we can take the example of troponin t gene which is found in rat muscles here we can see it has uh, exon 1 exon 2 exon 3 exon 4 and exon 5 right so this is exon 5 we can see here this is w gene this is x alpha beta and z right 
Uh, now here intron 1, intron 2, intron 3 and this is intron 4. Now when we join exon 1, W, X, alpha and Z, right? So W, X, alpha and Z, when these exons they are joined, these introns they are removed. This become alpha troponin T gene and this gene will work in the smooth muscles. Now there is another option. W, X, beta and Z may join and this will lead to the formation of beta troponin T gene which will function in other tissues. So there is variable uh, 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 removal of number of introns and exon joining is also different in two of the genes here. Beta is not there and here alpha is not there. So this gene will work in smooth muscle. This will work in other tissues. So same gene will have different expression. And this will also work in a different way in different muscles. This is due to variable removal of number of introns. So we can say when in a gene, same number of introns they are removed. Supposing 1, 2, 3, they are removed, right? Then this is called as constitutive splicing. I mean gene will remain same. It will have the same expression. But if like we have seen earlier, removal of variable number of intron take place, then we will have different types of gene. This is also called as alternative splicing. So this will have different expressions of the same genes. Now how these how these introns they are removed now we'll discuss. So uh, depending upon uh, types of introns we can discuss and how these are being removed. In group 1 introns. Uh, these introns are found in the split genes of nuclear chloroplast and mitochondrial genes of ribosomal RNA which are forming part of ribosomal RNA. Now these introns when they are removed they do not require anything other. ATP is not required. Now they will be self supplied means self supplied means automatically they will be removed. So this is group 1 intron. Now group 2 introns is found in messenger RNA genes of mitochondria and chloroplast. Again this is not required anything else. This will show self splicing means self removed. External factor is not required. So this is group 2 intron. Then group 3 introns is found in messenger RNA genes of eukaryotic organisms. Now here uh, we need to have a special type of protein for their removal. This is called as spliceosome. The spliceosome is basically uh, we can say complex of protein have made up of small nuclear RNAs and associated protein. So uh, this can usually act on GUAG junctions. I uh, mean uh, like this is exon, this is intron. So here it can be like this. This is junction, GUAG junction. So this can work over here. Now this removal with the help of protein which is called as spliceosome. Uh, self splicing is not there. Now group 4 introns are the introns uh, which are found in the genes transcribing certain transfer RNA. I mean which are found in the transfer RNA. Now here uh, supposing introns have to be removed this is with the help of enzyme endonucleases which can cut the intron and which this will be removed and then exon will be joined with each other with the help of enzyme RNA ligase and for this process again we need to have energy in the form of ATP what is ATP this is adenosine triphosphate so these are four type of introns like we have already discussed in troponin T gene where variable number of introns they are removed. One gene become alpha troponin T, second become beta troponin T and this is going to work in different muscles. So this is after removal of the intron gene will become functional and this will help in formation of functional RNA and that functional RNA will lead to the formation of different type of proteins. So this is all about split genes and removal of introns. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.